Their main focus today is trying to find out the jurors view on the death penalty along with what they know about this case so far. These are definitely crucial topics that both sides need to know as well as the judge before seating this jury. So today each one of those jurors were individually questioned. James Worley is facing 17 charges in the disappearance and murder of 20-year-old Sierra Joggins. One charge he faces aggravated murder. If the jury finds Worley guilty, the judge could sentence him to death. The judge needs to make sure the jurors who are seated on this jury will be able to find Worley guilty if the evidence leads them to that conclusion, even if they know that that decision could end a man's life. So if we're at a point where you are the last juror to sign the verdict form, and you know that if you sign it, in light of your Christian beliefs, the defendant will be put to death. Will you be able to sign your name in ink to that verdict form? And of course, this case has received local and national media attention since Sierra Joggins went missing back in the summer of 2016. The attorneys realize all the jurors know something about the case, but today they wanted to make sure the potential jurors could put anything they have heard about this case behind them and use the evidence and witness statements they hear in this trial to render a guilty or not guilty verdict. So where are we at now and are we on pace to pick a jury by Friday? I did have a chance to speak with the judge today and he said yes. He expects individual voir dire to continue tomorrow and then the jury will be selected on Friday. That means opening statements and the first witness will be called Monday. Reporting from the Fulton County Courthouse, Michelle Zapata, WTOL 11.